knowing greetings on this video I'll show how you actually uh, basically install and manage uh, uh, human hub well actually it's hum hum hub uh, 1.1 this is actually uh, let me go ahead and fire fire up the my chrome so I can show you the latest version as of August um, they have a new version uh, human hub so I'm just gonna uh, I'm, I'm all I'm gonna do is just search for H U M H U B human hub and here it is uh, it well hum hub dot org the name's kind of interesting but um, it works well um, I've been testing it for a while and I'm ready to show you guys how you manage emails and so forth or how you set up new users so if I click on download, you'll notice as of August 16th, 2000, 2016, uh, the official version's out, which is 1.1.0. But at this point, I've already, I'll assume that you've already installed it. Oops. That you've already installed it, downloaded it, and so forth. Um, and you're ready, and you already uploaded to the server. If you haven't done that, I have a link on the descriptions that will link you on how you actually install the whole thing. At this point, we're gonna we're gonna go to a site that I just set up here locally, humhub at dot freelance tech dot com. Uh, so I'm just gonna paste it, and that's just within my network here. So the first thing you're greeted by it's it normally takes whatever language your browser is defaulted to which is this gonna this is the screen right here so mine is English but if yours is you have different languages you just choose the one you want uh, or you need click on next and it'll it'll actually check your whole network um, and you can see here congratulations everything passed okay I am not using uh, LDA uh, LDF support you can see here even the hint tells you that it's optional uh, let's see right here hint oops hint is optional install PHP but this is just for testing that I'm using so yeah I don't need it oops so now once you're here you're gonna go ahead and click on next and then you're gonna be greeted by the next part which is the database questions and so forth. If you've actually set up through GoDaddy uh, one and one or so forth, they're going to give you what the what the, their MySQL server ID is and your your username and your password and the database name. So on here, I'm just going to go ahead and enter all my info, which is this would be local host because I'm just doing it local, and then that my username would be the database username. So, copy, so I'm just pasting this. So this, you would actually get all this info from your pr provider, or if you're, you do your own um, databases, well then obviously you'll have all that info. So I'm just gonna zoom through this part because um, we just wanna get to the nitty gritty, which is how to start managing this thing. Once we put that info, we're gonna click on next, and it's going to check your credentials and if it passes you'll be greeted by this part so I'm gonna call this uh, human hub uh, oh actually you know what it's, this is gonna be uh, freelance tech uh, oops human hub tutorial click on next and then the next thing he'll ask you let me zoom in is what kind of site is it gonna be uh, you know community and so forth I'm gonna go ahead and do community click on next um, let me zoom out and then what can the users do at this point you're gonna have to ask yourself what can they do um, I am going to click on everything um, click on next and 
basically what what can people be or the modules that people are going to be looking at uh, you know it's going to be birthdays mail and so forth I want it all for testing I, I want you guys to see everything click on next okay so it's downloading all the modules oops yeah my zoom is, is always it always gives me trouble yeah, I mean the zoom just don't get get along okay so the next thing that we're greeted by is uh, what the username and a password are going to be for the admin um, so that's what we have here what we have here is admin account so I'm going to do create one which is the username is going to be uh, freelance tech and then the email is going to be uh, freelance actually you know what it's going to be uh, yeah it's going to be freelance uh, oops at copy at freelance tech Dot com that way I'll go here let me enter the password and then the first name is going to be freelance and or oops actually the first name I could do freelance yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, tech and then the last name would be com how about that how how original is that okay so um, now it will ask you if you want to set up uh, a an actual um, basically out of templates uh, I would recommend if it's the first time you're doing it I would say yes go ahead and don't put avoid the, the blank one have them install examples that's really up to you it's just recommended you can see right here uh, click on next and that was successful so um, hopefully this part wasn't too long for you guys but so here we can actually see the actual site up and running okay here's the user which is the one I have and you can send emails back I mean uh, information back and forth what I want to show you guys is how you actually manage this part. Um, so you would actually log into your site, and now this is the actual manage management side of it. Um, where we want to go is up here on the on the upper right, um, and let me zoom in. Hopefully, uh, and you're going to go into. Well, actually, I'm not going to zoom into nudge go or everywhere. And you're going to go under administration, which is the third piece down. Now, at this point, you're going to see the examples, and you can see your your the number one ID of your database is actually uh, yourself. You're at the admin itself. What we want to do is be able to allow emails and so forth to start flowing. So, we're actually going to go to settings. And you'll notice here on the third tab, it's going to say email. So on the email, you would actually click go to server settings. Now, the server settings on, at this point, it's going to be either um, an email service that you have already. I recommend you you uh, either using GoDaddy's or I, or iPowers or one in one whatever email service you want because sometimes emails are a drag um, but that's that's really up to you um, if you could even do mail.com or GMX there's so many free services but anyways moving on from that part uh, where you would actually send select that your server would be mail uh, transport type. You can click at the right and you're going to do SMTP. Now, when you do an SMTP at this point, you're either going to have all your info 
or you'll get it from your provider. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter all my info. Uh, and I actually use, um, I already set one up, which is called, it's called no reply at freelancetech.com and sender's name uh, at, at this point you could actually do uh, like um, from my side I could probably do uh, freelance tech team or whatever you want to call it the host is what the actual host so from my side it's going to be SMTP dot freelance tech dot com or whatever your 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 user is the my email is actually my client or the username and then I'm going to enter the password and then then the port that I'm going to use 587 and that would be my port 587 um, encryption I'm going to say none for right now I'm going to click on save and at this point uh, comment whatever yeah yeah that, that's fine those are just like basic ones so now the first thing we're going to do is to test this um, we're actually going to create a new user and we're going to have it actually send a an email as it's going to require me to acknowledge it so I'm gonna go ahead and log off okay so when new users come in what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and click over here where it says sign in slash up it's the same place where everybody's gonna sign in and they were act they would actually click on new user oops obviously new user and so I'm gonna create my so it's going to be free freelance tech dot com at gmail dot com and click on register and you'll notice it'll, it'll tell you registration successful please check your email click on back okay so what I'm going to do is oops what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to to my Gmail. So I'm gonna go to Gmail and freelancetech.com and let me log in. And you'll notice right here registration link. So let me zoom in so you can actually. Oops. So see right here, freelance tech team, and it tells you what the email was. Click on that, and then all you would do is click, or the the new user would actually click on here, which says "Welcome to Freelance Tech Hub Tutorial." Uh, welcome to blah blah blah. Click on here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, the name. So I'm gonna call this my same email. So we free uh, freelance tech.com and then my password okay and then uh, the, this is going to be um, human hub uh, tutorial okay click on this Okay, so now it was successful. I could actually click on back home, and now I should be able to click here and sign in, enter my uh, username or my email. So it's going to be free, freelancetech.com at, at gmail.com. Your account is not approved yet. Oh, you know what? I actually set it up so um, I have to actually approve it. So, so let me log in as myself.
and then see here new approval requested I do it this way at the very beginning because uh, it does get somewhat of a, of a drag and see right here in the middle it tells you that you have a approval wait, waiting so see right here it gives you the username their their email and uh, what their first name last name is and then you you approve them um, so now send and save so this is the email that you're gonna go ahead and send the user um, at the very beginning I do recommend doing it this way because uh, it could get out of hand really quick once you start getting busy then you can start uh, tweaking it a little bit better uh, but at the very beginning it would just get it's, it's just gonna be a lot more work to to deal with so so here it is the second email that you got it says right here see uh, uh, account request has been approved all you're gonna do is click on here okay and now you notice that I'm logged in I can send him at uh, replies I could actually see everything that's going on um, let me know if this video helped if it didn't I'll go ahead and uh, do a polish one but hopefully this kind of guides you how you set up the emails and kind of how you you actually install at the beginning um, and yeah hopefully uh, you guys like the video uh, all that, that good jazz thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one